Introduction to Computer Introduction The computer is an electronic device that can perform activities, which involves arithmetic, logical and graphical calculations. Nowadays, computers are used in almost every part of our life. The diagram shows the various parts of desktop computers. Types of computers based on principles of operation. There are three different types of computers, according to the principles of operation. Those three types of computers are 1. Analog computers 2. Digital computers 3. Hybrid computers 1. Analog computers Analog computer is a computing device that works on a continuous range of values. It generally deals with physical variables such as voltage, pressure temperature, speed, etc. 2. Digital computers on the other hand a digital computer operates on digital data such as numbers. It uses binary number system in which there are only two digits 0 and 1 each digit is, called a bit. Digital computers can give more accurate and faster results. Digital computer is well suited for solving complex problems in engineering and technology. Based on the purpose, digital computers can be further classified as, general purpose computers, special purpose computers. Special purpose computer is one that is built for a specific application. General purpose computers are used for any type of applications. They can store different programs and do the jobs as per the instructions specified on those programs. Most of the computers that we see today are general purpose computers. 3. Hybrid computers. A hybrid computer combines the desirable features of analog and digital computers. It is mostly used for automatic operations of complicated physical, processes and machines. For example, in hospitals a coup, analog devices measures the patient's temperature, blood pressure and other vital signs. These measurements which are in analog are then converted into numbers and sent to digital components in the system. These components are used to monitor the patient's vital sign and send signals if any abnormal readings are detected. Hybrid computers are mainly used for specialized tasks types of computers based on configuration there are four different types of computers when we classify them based on their performance and capacity the four types are 1 supercomputers 2 mainframe computers 3 mini computers 4 microcomputers 1 supercomputers when we talk about types of computers the first type that comes to our mind would be supercomputers. They are the best in terms of processing capacity and also the most expensive ones. These computers can process billions of instructions per second. Normally, they are used for applications which require intensive numerical computations such as stock analysis, weather forecasting etc. 2. Mainframe computers. Mainframe computers can also process data at very high speeds hundreds of million instructions per second and they are also quite expensive. Normally, they are used in banking, airlines and railways etc. for their applications. 3. Mini Computers Mini computers are lower to mainframe computers in terms of speed and storage capacity. They are also less expensive than mainframe computers. Some of the features of mainframes are not available in minutes computers. Hence, their performance are also less than that of mainframes. 4. Microcomputers The invention of microprocessor, single-chip CPU, gave birth to the, much cheaper microcomputers. They are further classified into 1. Desktop computers 2. Laptop computers 3. Handheld computers PDAs 1. Desktop computers these desktop computers are also known as personal computers or simply PCs. They are usually easier to use and more affordable. They are normally intended for individual users for their word processing and other small application requirements. 2. Laptop computers. Laptop computers are portable computers. They are lightweight computers with a thin screen. They are also called as notebook computers because of their small size they can operate on batteries and hence are very popular with travelers. The screen folds down onto the keyboard when not in use. 3. Handheld computer. Handheld computers or personal digital assistants, PDAs, are pen-based and also battery-powered. They are small and can be carried anywhere. 
They use a pen like stylus and accept handwritten input directly on the screen. They are not as powerful as desktops or laptops but they are used for scheduling appointments, storing addresses and playing games. They have touch screens which we use with a finger or a stylus. Input devices. We enter data and instructions into the computer by means of input devices. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard and mouse. 1. Keyboard. The computer keyboard is used to enter text information into the computer, as and when you type the contents of a report. 2. Mouse. A mouse is used to draw, pictures and select objects and text on the computer. 3. Touchpad. Most laptop computers today have a touchpad pointing device. You move the on-screen cursor by sliding your finger along the surface of the touchpad. The buttons are located below the pad, but most touchpads allow you to perform mouse clicks by tapping on the bed itself. 4. Joysticks. Joysticks and other game controllers can also be connected to a computer as painting devices. They are generally used for playing games, and not for controlling the on-screen cursor in productive software. 5. Touchscreen. Some computers, especially handheld PDAs, have touch-sensitive display screens. The user can make choices and press button images on the screen. You often use a stylus, which you hold like a pen, to write on the surface of a small touch screen. 6. Graphics Tablet A graphics tablet consists of an electronic writing area and a special pen that works with it. Graphics tablet allow artists to create graphical images with motion and actions similar to using more traditional drawing tools. 7. Scanner. It is used to scan pictures into the computer. 8. Light pen. It is used to select object and text on the screen. We can directly draw figures on the screen, do you know? Dot. Information is nothing but process data. When you process data and put it in meaningful forms, it becomes information. Processing devices. The processing unit of a computer is central processing unit, CPU. The CPU is present inside the cabinet box. The CPU does all calculations of the computer. Do you know what your brain does for you? It remembers things and takes decisions. It also does calculations and many other things. The CPU is known as the brain of the computer. The computer does all its work through the CPU. CPU has three parts. 1. ALU, arithmetic and logical unit, it does all the calculations. 2. CU, control unit, it controls all the activities of the computer. It tells other parts of the computer what they should do. 3. MU, memory unit, it stores data and information temporarily. Output devices. Output devices show the result of the work done by the computer. The most commonly used output devices are monitor and printer. 1. Monitor. It shows the work done by the computer. 2. Printer. It helps you to take the result on paper. There are different types of printers such as dot matrix printer, line printer, inkjet printer, etc. Some of the output devices are 3. Plotters. It is used to take large printouts of drawings on paper sheets. 4. Speakers. Speakers help you to listen to music and sounds, do you know? The microphone was developed by Alexander Graham Bell. The early microphones were developed at Bell Laboratories. Hewlett Packard developed the first laser jet laser printer for personal computers in 1984. Storage devices. The data and instruction that are entered into the computer system through input devices are stored inside the computer in some storage media. The Compute memory can be placed into one of two categories. 1. Primary memory. 2. Secondary memory. 1. Primary memory. 1. Primary memory often called main memory. 2. It is presented on the motherboard. RAM. 1. Primary memory is synonymous with random access memory. RAM. 2. It is used to hold the data temporarily while the computer is working. 3. RAM is a volatile form of information storage, meaning that when electrical power is terminated any data that it contains is lost, ROM. 1. ROM stands for read-only memory. 2. It holds the recorded data permanently. 3. The data does not get erased even when the computer is switched off. 4. CD-ROMs are the most commonly used ROM devices.
Secondary memory. The secondary memory is used to store data permanently. It is not erased even when the computer is switched off. Some common secondary storage devices are 1. Floppy disk 2. Hard disk 3. Compact disk 4. Flash drive Key points 1. Based on principles computers are classified into three types. They are analog, digital and hybrid computers. 2. There are four different types of computers when we classify them based on their performance and capacity. The four types are, supercomputer, mainframe computers, mini computers and microcomputers. 3. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard, mouse, touchpad, joysticks, touchscreen, graphics tablet, scanner and light pen. 4. CPU has three parts such as ALU, arithmetic and logical unit, CU, control unit, and MU, memory unit. 5. The computer memory can be placed into one of two categories, primary memory and secondary memory. 6. Primary memory often called main memory. RAM stands for random access memory. 7. ROM stands for read-only memory. 8. Some common secondary storage devices are floppy disk, hard disk, compact disk and flash drive.